Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm showing you a classic in card magic, and it's called A Devilish Miracle by Ed Marlowe. So what I'm showing you today is just one of many different variations on the plot. In fact, it was first published in 1948 in a little booklet called A Devilish Miracle. Now let's get into it. Alright, so for The Devilish Miracle, you will need two people to help you out. And so let's say we had a person here, and a person here helping me out with this trick, alright? So what we'll do is we'll have somebody shuffle the deck, and then they can shuffle as much as they want to. And then when you get it back, you will just spread the deck and have them pick a card. So I will pick that one there, remember that card, we'll put that there. Uh, same thing with this person, they pick a card, remember the card there. So uh, both people pick a card, and they both remember it. Now, uh, we'll just put them back in the middle of the deck, maybe one right around here. Uh, let's see, maybe one right around here. And uh, you know what, let's put them in different parts of the pack. That way it's harder to get to, so they're separated by about 20 cards, all right? So we can square those up. And you know what, we can even give it a shuffle too, just so that they're very, very mixed up and nobody can find those cards, even if they tried. But you know what, I will try. And uh, let's say, we'll give it one more mix, just so we can uh, have a challenge, all right? So. Let's see, I'll go through and pick out, oh, give me five chances to find your cards, all right? So maybe one towards the top, maybe that one, there's three, four, and you know what, we'll do five cards. So I'm hoping that one of these cards uh, is at least your card. I'm getting a strong feeling that it's uh, at least uh, your card in here, but uh, we'll see. So for the first time, is your card in here? It is, what about you, did you see your card? You did not see your card. All right, so um, <laughs> we'll start with you then. Would you be impressed if I caused your card, the one you're just thinking of, turned face down in this packet? You would. All right, so here's the challenge. Boom, watch. Your card is now face down. All right, it would be more impressive if I made your card turn face up singly by itself, all right? So watch, I'll do that. Watch, there's that one. There's that one. There's that one. That one, and you know what? There's one more. Now your card is face up. It turned face up singly by itself, just like I promised. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll do it for real this time. I'll make your card turn face down by itself. The only one in this face up packet. All right, here we go. All I gotta do is a secret move. All you had to do is ask. Now I would've done the secret move. That's a secret move. Now your card is the only one that's face down in this uh, face up packet. That's not the queen, that's not the jack. It's not the king and it's not the four. Your card face down. And now, I was really bummed out I didn't get your card, but you know what? We'll try it just like this. Focus on your card, focus on your card. Look, all you gotta do is snap my fingers and your card disappears from the pack. It actually appears right over here. What was your card, the eight of spades? There it is right there. All right, so this is completely self-working. Just kidding. Uh, there's it's actually a lot of slides that you have to do, but it's not too hard to do. So here's how you do this. So completely shuffle deck, two people. Uh, the first person picks a card. We'll go with that queen. And then second person picks a card. We'll go with that to three. Now continue spreading through until you get to two cards on the bottom. That way when you close up, you get to bring above two cards uh, like this with your pinky. Now just transfer the deck to middle grip that we have a thumb break now on, the, uh, on those two cards there. Now the reason why you can uh, break on two cards is so you can control these uh, cards to the top of the deck. So what you're going to do, these will be face down obviously, so you want to cut about a quarter of the deck in this hand with a swing cut like this and have the first person put their card on top and have the, I'm sorry, the second person on top and then the first person on top of that. So it's going to make it look like, you're going to make it look like you put these in different parts of the pack, but what happens is they drop switch. So you just drop these uh, thumb broken cards on top of these two cards like this as you move forward like this. So like, we'll put one right here and then you've just done it. You just drop those two cards on top of those cards and then we'll dribble some cards like this. We'll put that one there and we'll separate them like this so they're, you know, have about 20 cards in between. But really what happens is that both cards are now on top. So let me run that one more time. So you have both cards here like this. Uh, so after you spread, get a break above those two cards as you close up, uh, cut about a quarter. Uh, they put theirs on first and they put theirs on second. And then what you're gonna do is as you move forward, just drop these on top like this as you move forward to the table with these cards here. Now what you're gonna do is make it look like you just put those two cards in, but they're just the switched in cards now, right? So dribble some cards on the table like this, uh, throw that off there. Uh, psh uh, dribble some cards like this, uh, thumb that off. Now at this point in your hand, 
you have to the two selections. So just dribble the rest on top of those and the control is made. A very effective control in any of your card magic. I highly recommend it because it's very convincing. All right, so square those up. You see, look, we'll even give it a shuffle. That way there is no telling where those cards can end up. Uh, let's just do our full shuffle like this. And you see, you know what? We'll even give some cuts to whatever you want to do, right? Just to really sell the fact that they're lost. Now what you want to do is say, look, I'll try to find your cards and I'll try to get your cards within five chances. So what you're going to do is go through the deck and upjog five cards. But the first one is actually going to be the second card, which is uh, their selection, right? So you just go through, upjog that for a second card, and then you upjog four more. That's two, three, uh, four, and five throughout the deck, just like this, right? Now what you're going to do is square those up. And as you strip them out, you will get a break. Just push it over like this. Uh, with your pinky on top uh, the top card of the deck so strip those out get a break under the top card of the deck and then what you're going to do is just put these on like this pick up all six cards and then put the deck down so now the situation is that there is one selection on top of the packet and the other selection on the bottom of the packet which which they believe is five cards it's really six cards now you say look i'm hoping that one of these is at least one of your cards and as you're saying this you're going to do a jordan count and what that is is you count three cards like this that's one two three and then at this point you just do an elmsley switch so just put these uh, three cards on top of the packet and then push over all cards on top and then uh, you're left with one card so that leaves you now with one selection on top and the other fourth from the top of the packet just like this so another detail on that jordan count in case you missed it that's one two three now you just put these back on top of the packet and push over just do a block push over all the cards and then put that one card on top so you counted five cards but you've displaced uh two of them in this case uh the selection and the other selection right there where they need to be so now what you do is you say look i think i at least got one of your cards and i think it's your card so you turn the cards face up and you say look for the uh, just tell me is it your card in here don't tell me what it is if you see it but do you see your card anywhere and they will see it because it's right there in the middle and all you're doing here is pushing over four cards so that's one two three four keeping the last one as a double so uh just tell me do you see your card in here don't say what it is but uh do you see it in there and you're just doing that you know and then you can do this if you want to uh do you see your card you probably don't do and they'll they'll say of course not right so now what you do is you say, look, would you be impressed if I cause your car to turn face down in this packet? And they might say, well, of course, that would be very impressive, right? <laughs> and then all you do here is I could joke and you just do this. Boom, your car is now face down. And here's the brilliant bit. This is actually a Paul Wilson idea. And you say, look, would you be more impressed if I made your car turn face up singly by itself? And here what you do is you just start taking cards from the bottom, five cards to be exact, uh, like this. So that's one, two, three, four, and five cards. And as soon as you've done that, you will have five cards face up with uh, their card face down on the bottom of the packet. And you can say, look, I made your card turn face up singly by itself. And you say, all right, all right, all right. Would you be most impressed if I had made your card turn your face down by itself, the only card face down in the packet? And they would say yes. And you say, look, all I got to do is a secret move. All you had to do was ask, right? So this is a secret move. Do anything you want to do at this point, right? So all you're going to do now is a series of Elmsley pushovers. So you do one, two. It's like an Elmsley count, right? And then you put these back on. Three, four, and five. So a little more detail on that count. So what you're doing here is just an Elmsley count with some pushovers, all right? So and what you're gonna do is like an Elmsley count, push that over, do the block pushover, put that on. Now, instead of just finishing the Elmsley count here, what you're gonna do is put these back under and do another block pushover. So you're like this, do another block pushover, like a Jordan count, right? So you're like this, and then do one more to show all five cards. I like this, do that block push block pushover again, and then there you go. So a nice way to remember it is just doing an Elmsley count halfway and finishing off with two block pushovers like this. So again, you do an Elmsley count like this, but you finish with two block pushovers, all right? So put these on top, do a block pushover of everything. So you're left with one card and do that again. Put these under, do a block pushover uh, like that. So you're left with one card again. So at speed, it looks like this. Now your card is the only one that's face down in the face up packet. 
say it's not the five, it's not the ten, it's not the eight, and it's not the ace, your card face down, and there you go, that's the trick. And then you say, I was really bummed that I couldn't get your card. So the, for the first time, what was your card? And you say, look, if I just snap, your card becomes invisible and disappears from the deck and reappears over here with, with another snap. Your card's the three of hearts. All right, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching this video and taking the time out of your day uh, to learn something new. And I really hope you got some value out of this video. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.